Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's Victoria. This is actually my very first YouTube video. So pretty nervous, pretty excited. Um, if you stumbled across me, can't imagine how you got here, but I am so excited to have you. So I'm pretty much gonna be talking about a range of things from makeup tips to lifestyle advice. My personality is very laid back, relaxed. Um, I'm brutally honest about anything that happens. I'm going to tell it how it is, be how I am, whether it's on YouTube about anything that happens in my personal life or what have you, so um, that's just how this channel is going to be. And I hope you all like it, I hope you all stick around, I'm going to talk about personal things that happen in my life, I love to hear about things that happen in your life. It's going to be a channel that's hopefully going to be a lot of fun for all of us and I'm really glad that you're here. Uh, it's going to be featuring a little kitty cat because he's very needy and at this moment he is at my side um, and he likes to berate me when I don't pay much attention to him. So actually, hold on one second, I'm going to grab him. Come here you. So this is my kitty. Can you say hi? So this is the kitty. Hi! He is very needy and can't be without me so I'm sure that he'll make various appearances in many different videos. So today's video is going to be about my everyday routine, something basic, just want to share with you what I do every single day. Um, there's going to be lots of different looks in the future, I'm going to talk about different websites that I use to buy makeup from. Um, more going out types of looks, different things like that. So thank you so much. Just stick tuned for the video and here it is. Thanks guys. So for primer today, I'm going to be using the Stay Matte by Rimmel. It looks like this. So this is something that I actually started using about uh, three months ago. I never really used drugstore brand primers because I have combination skin, which means I'm both oily and dry. And my skin, it's very oily when it's oily, but with this primer, I find that it's got a really nice moisturizing texture. So when I apply it, it really moisturizes my skin, but makes it stay matte all day long. And if you see me looking down here, I just have a mirror right down here, so sorry if I'm looking down a little bit. So I just usually put that little dots around my face, because like I said, I do get pretty oily, so I like to put this all over my face and it is kind of moisturizing. So I like to put this all over. And then for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Healthy Foundation by Physicians Formula. This is definitely my favorite foundation um, that I have found so far and it's at the drugstore so it's pretty cheap. Um, it comes in a bunch of different colors and I found that this just sits on my skin really well. It doesn't cling on to any dry patches that I have and it actually has a bunch of different ingredients in here to help your skin. So it's kind of a makeup and a skincare product as well, which I really love. So just a little bit about this foundation. It looks like this. It's what I'll be using today for my foundation. There we go. I am the shade LN4. They have um, a bunch of different color options. LN is um, light neutral and then they also have um, cool and they have warm as well and then they have various tones in those different neutral cool and warm so it's really cool you can figure out the undertone of your skin and then get different shades within those undertones but it says that it's compatible for all skin types it has 
the exclusive brightening complex and hyaluronic acid to hydrate, brighten, and improve the appearance of your skin tone. It has the added boost of vitamins A, C, and E to provide flawless, healthy coverage. So I really like wearing this. It also has SPF 20, so it makes me feel like I'm adding something to my skin rather than just putting on some makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my face. The brush that I'm gonna be using to apply my makeup today is going to be the AOA Studio High Def Brush F3. So I just do little lines all over my face. And this does have the doe foot applicator. If you can see, like most concealers do. Some people say that it is a little bit dirty to apply it like this. To be honest, it doesn't really affect me. I apply concealer to my face all over to get different blemishes and things, so I don't see the difference in applying a makeup all over my face with that type of doe foot applicator, so it doesn't bother me. And then I'm just going ahead and buffing it in with my brush. I bring it down along my neck as well just to make sure that there's no harsh lines on my neck or anything. Now I'm going to look and see if I need to apply a little bit more anywhere and I think I am around my forehead, just apply a little bit more and maybe a little bit more right here. Okay, so now that we have our foundation all blended in, I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer. And if I have any spots that um, are really showing up, cat hair, sorry. If I have any spots that are really showing up, I go ahead and I put some of my Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the shade 15, and the Fit Me Concealer looks like this. There we go. I really love this concealer. I find it does a really good job of blurring any imperfections that I have. If I have any um, patches of makeup that just didn't lay right on my face, I can put this over top of it and blend it out and it will pretty much get rid of any weirdness that's happening as well. So I really, really love this concealer. There's a reason why a lot of people are talking about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on any spots that I see or any just discoloration. And I do have another concealer that I use for under my eyes, so one second for that. And I'm just gonna blend that in with the same brush. And now I'm going to go in with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. I'm the shade 5 Light Neutral. <laughs> Sorry, Light Natural. Can't read today. It looks like this. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this. I first heard Tati Westbrook talking about this and that's why I really wanted to try it. This concealer is under $5, I believe, and it's pretty high coverage. So put some lines. I definitely am a high amount of concealer under the eyes, girl. that I'm going to blend it out with my AOA Studio High Definition F5 brush it looks like this I just like this because it's got that pointed tip so I find that it fits really well under my eyes so I just put that and I blend it out sometimes I'll use my beauty blender but I was just too lazy to wet it today so I'm just gonna blend this out And as you can see, that really just brightened the area and really woke up my eye. Okay. 
I also bring it on top of the lid just to get out any of the veins that I have on my eyelids. I have very veiny eyelids. So now I just make sure that that's all pressed in. So to set our face today, we're going to be using the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Uh, and I have mine in the color Naturally Neutral. Looks like this. It blurs everything out. It's really finely milled. I really like it. The thing I think people really don't like about it is that it has a very, very strong smell of something along the lines of baby powder, or some people say it smells like their grandmother. Um, yeah, it, it does have a very strong smell, so um, just be warned about that, but I mean, I think it looks beautiful on the skin, so the smell is worth it to me. Also, the amount of product that you get in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and powder my face. Just put some on my forehead because I definitely get some creasing there. I have a little line that starts right there for potential wrinkle that's gonna start the older that I get. So I put some on my forehead, go ahead and make sure that my eyes are set and then I put some powder there. Just tapping off the excess and I'm just swirling around in here and tapping off it's definitely a powdery, powdery powder. <laughs> it's gonna have loose particles flying everywhere. So if that's not something that you're interested in, I would look more towards a pressed powder, which I have another one coming in a second because more is more. Um, so I have the Milani Prep Set and Glow Powder, Illuminating Transparent Powder. I actually use this sometimes on top. I'll get a little bit cakey up here or just when I want my skin to look a little bit brighter and I find that this gets rid of anything that's happening on my skin and just really blurs everything out, makes it look really nice, adds a little shine to it and just evens everything out. So it looks like this. I find that it just evens everything out, makes my skin look really nice. So I just go swirl in there, tap, and I put a little bit of that on as well. I don't go too hard with this. It's just a little bit extra to make my skin look more blended. And that's it for that one. So for bronzer today, we're gonna to be using a cult classic and it's the Butter Bronzer. I believe everyone knows about this product. It's a fan favorite, it smells, let's wait for me to get back in focus, hi. It smells so good, so good. Um, I'm using the shade bronzer today. Uh, they actually just came out with a bunch of different shades of this, which is really awesome. They used to just have the one shade and then the, it was the two shades for the longest amount of time. Um, and now I believe that they have four shades, which is really, really cool. So I'm gonna be applying it with my um, Ruby Kisses brush. I just picked this up from CVS. It's a new brand that they started carrying there and I wanted to try out their brushes. It's pretty nice. I use it for contour and for bronzer, so I'm gonna be applying that today with my bronzer. Now for my everyday looks, I don't usually use a contour. So today I'm not gonna be using one. In future looks, I will definitely be using contour, but just since today's look is my everyday routine, I am just gonna be using a bronzer for today. But for a blush, my favorite blush is gonna be the Milani Baked Blush. I really love the added shimmer that they put in here. The color that I'll be using today is Coralina, and it looks like this. It just has this really pretty look to it. And I'm just applying it with an old blush brush that I have. I say old, but don't worry, it's clean. I, I've cleaned all these brushes, so don't worry about that. 
So I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks. And then for highlighter today, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighter in the shade Pearl. I really love this. It smooths on so well. Um, my skin, it's just, it, it works very well with my skin, doesn't show any texture. It's a really, really great highlighter. They have it in tons of different shades. It smells exactly like the, come on, show the world your beauty. It smells exactly like the butter bronzer. So I really, really love that. So I'm just gonna swirl my brush and get to highlighting. And I put it down the bridge of my nose and on the very tip. I put a little bit up here and then right on my cupid's bow. Sometimes I'll use my finger. There we go. And then now I gotta get these brows in order. Just so you know, I am not the best at brows. Sorry for all you brow fanatics out there. But for today for brows, I'm gonna be using the NYX Professional Makeup Precise Precision Brow Pencil. This I find really helps do my brows. I am really not great at them. But this is in the color I can find it, espresso. One side's got the spoolie, the other side's got the product. So you just roll it up. I'm gonna spoolie these brows a little bit. And then I pretty much just fill in my brows. I'm not much of a carver and doing all the different steps. Like I said, I'm not that great at brows. Brings me back to my traumatic childhood of having caterpillars on my eyes before I learned what a brow wax was. So I'm not that big into brows. I just fill them in, make them look a little bit more defined. If there's any spots filling, I'll pretty much just um, make sure that those are filled out. So that's, that's my life with brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Also, to be completely honest, usually I do my brows way before right now, but I just forgot about them until right now. So, we're doing them now. Okay, brows are on. And now it's time for eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette. Looks like this got tons and tons of different shadows in here. The formulas of this one is really, really nice. They blend out beautifully. There's some great shadows in here, um, great colors. I feel like I can make a lot of different looks with this palette. So I'm really enjoying it. It's one that I go to pretty much every day. Although there's lots of different crazy colors in here, there's a lot of neutrals, a lot of warm tones that I can create an everyday look with. Start out, I'm gonna be taking an AOA brush that I have. This one's actually from the brand called Vintage, but I got it from my Shop Miss A website. I'm gonna be doing a video about that in the future, so stay tuned for that. And I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's called MFEO. And I'll be tapping into that and putting it right as my transition shade. I'll do that for the other eye as well. Okay, now that we have that on, I'm going to take a little bit of pooter and I'm going to put that right underneath where I just laid that last color. And I'm going to be using the AOA Studio E129 brush. Okay. 
And as I'm sure you probably noticed, I didn't use any type of eyelid primer. My makeup generally stays on pretty well, just using the concealer and then I set all over my eyes when I powder the under eyes. So it generally stays on pretty well for that. However, I will use an eyelid primer if I'm going to an event or doing a more in-depth look. So, but just for my everyday routine, I will not use an eyelid primer. Okay, and then I am going to take actually a little bit of this shade right here that is going to be buns and I'm just going to focus it on the outer corner of my eyes today. And then as the under color, I'm going to go in with a smaller AOA Studio brush. It's gonna be the E132 brush. And I'm going to take that first shade again, which was MFEO, and I'm just going to run it under my eye. And then I'm going to take the buns color as well and run that one under. So now I have this nice neutral kind of warm toned color going on and I'm going to take a pop of shimmer and put it on the rest of my eyelid. So as my pop of color today, I'm going to be using Beam in this palette. So I'm just going to be taking it on my flat E131 brush from AOA. It looks like this, it's gonna be flat. Let me see if I can, there we go. So I'm gonna be using that to really get the shadow on this part of my eye. So I'm laying it first and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of setting spray to build up that shine. And the setting spray I'm gonna be using later today and for this is gonna be the Never Touch Up Setting Spray by um, RK by Kiss. It's the same brand that I was talking about before that I just picked up from CVS. It's a new launch at CVS. So I'm gonna be using that on my brush. To just add a little bit more shine. And then um, for the final touch, I'm just going to take that original MFEO shade and go over the crease one more time just to blend everything out and make sure there's no harsh lines. And then for mascara today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Luminous Lash Paradise. This is a really great dupe for the Better Than Sex Mascara, and I actually prefer this one to the Better Than Sex Mascara. I find that it just works better for me personally. However, I know a lot of people that really love that mascara. I am not a person that wears eyeliner on a day-to-day -day basis. I am just too lazy for that, and my eyelashes are pretty long, so they fill out um, my eyes very well that I don't feel like I need to wear eyeliner to accentuate my eyes. So 
um, for this video I'm not going to be putting on eyeliner for ones in the future I will be putting on eyeliner but just for this video today I'm not going to be but I am going to be curling my eyelashes my lashes even though they are really long they are super stick straight so if I just put on mascara even though it's a curling mascara they are going to be stick straight and you're not going to be able to see them at all so I have to curl my eyelashes or else you're not going to be able to see anything so I'll curl my eyelashes and I usually pump the eyelash curler about 10 times and then I let go and see the difference it made already And then I apply my mascara. So now both of my eyelashes have mascara on them. Before I go ahead and apply my lipstick, I like to spray my face with the setting spray. So I'm just going ahead and use that same spray, setting spray and spray my face. You just hold it about a foot away from you and spray your face. And this one has a very gentle mister, so I really like that. And then I just spray it all over my face. The lipstick I'll be using today is a lipstick from Makeup Academy. I really like their formulas. They're very moisturizing. And if I'm going to just be using it every day, I like using this one because it really feels like a chapstick for my lips and not a lipstick because it's super moisturizing. And the color I'm going to be using is number 250 Nude. So it looks like this. And I'm just going to apply that to my lips. And there you have it. That's my makeup look every single day. Usually I'll just change up the eyes, but that's basically what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But if you have any questions for me, um, just let me know. If you have any advice, it would be greatly appreciated. Like I said, this is my very first video on YouTube. So any advice on things you'd like to see, things you think I should change or do differently, um, I am all ears. So thanks again for watching my video. I hope you'll come back soon. Um, thanks for sticking around for the whole thing. I really appreciate it and I can't wait to explore YouTube with you guys further. Thanks. Bye.